Welcome to the second episode. Today I'm catching the plane and going to San Francisco. I'm gonna land Friday afternoon and it makes for perfect timing to have this first discovery of the city. Hopefully we'll get to see a lot of San Francisco and maybe some of the things around. So hop on and let's go. Finally made it to San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is the front door. Like, uh, Yay! <laughs> Look, it's cool. Elevator has a curtain. I think like it can be good for us to do. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this is like a labyrinth. Okay, home sweet home. Ta da! Welcome. We'll save the apartment tour for another day because the weather is amazing and we still have the full afternoon to discover the city, so let's go! So this is a street. It's not super picturesque. That's nice. Okay, so what, which street is this one? This is just an alley. I don't know what the name is. It's financial district, I guess. Uh, and it's actually really the other way around. Contemporary museum. Oh. Jewish museum. Okay. Good old. So this is Jewish museum? It's very Jewish museum. Here we go. The first cultural thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fantastic guide. <laughs> I just know how to make it interesting. We're in the heart of financial district and we're going to a coffee place right now. We're gonna go to Union Square, which is kind of iconic. It's a little nice one. Going to Union Square and this is this way. It was definitely the right decision not to stay in the apartment and explore the city. We had this amazing weather and the sunbeams on the streets. It was super beautiful and very nice to walk. We were going towards the Union Square. It's one of the landmarks which is very well known. I don't know if it's the most picturesque part, but it's definitely worth visiting. And this is also where you can find this iconic San Francisco tramways and some of the charming streets. So it's on this street, you sure? You sure? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, yay. Coffee! I don't think I need coffee right now, I think I need food, but I also need to stay awake, so coffee it is. But. They're closed. Oh. Okay. Blue bottle? Blue bottle. <laughs> okay, are you done? Okay, yeah. so we're going back to Blue Bottle because this new place is closed and we're going over here. I didn't like where the house is, but two streets over, I kind of like it. I mean, it's still too soon to say, but yeah, this part, like, it's what, the Union Square area? Yes. Union Square is nice. And I'm so, like... Trying. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel... I feel... I think, like, I prefer New York. Oh, New York and Chicago are going to be much better cities. Yeah, I mean, there, there'll be parts you'll see that you'll like because it's kind of more cool with houses, trees, up yeah. some hills. And yeah. then there'll be a normal city. It's kind of like just plain, and it's, it's like there's not a lot of architecture. There's some architecture, but not a lot. Big objective for today is to stay awake till let's say nine, so that they can switch on. On the new time zone right away. 
I found my new favorite place. Holbrook House. Okay. So it has pastries, tea, and coffee, and it has an amazing design. Super cool. They're going uphill, they can't really keep Well, we didn't make a reservation because this is we're just worried about this. But That's okay. would it be possible to get a table and do the menu? Sorry, I'm afraid it's okay. we don't have. Well, bar today. Thank you. Thank you. We have some waiters that know us. Uh, I think we need two. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Nice. Yes. Okay. So we're full, complete, ready to eat. My favorite dish is pad choy. They cook it really well here and it's not chewy, it's just like a perfect texture. And they have a very good sauce that is not too much, just enough flavor. And the pancake is, is a, like this comfort food, which is like this crusty, crunchy, um, really tasty too. And I think we'll be coming back for their tasting menu probably next week because this is the one you need to book in advance. I feel the rhythm of all the raindrops in the window of your apartment building Overcome by the way The sound of your voice drips into the carpet now. It's day two in San Francisco It's still a little challenging to adjust to the new time zone and today we're gonna go to the park and it's kind of a little bit similar but also very different from European cities it can be walkable in some areas but then overall it's much more widespread it's a weekend so we still have quite a bit of time so we're gonna probably do walking again and just try see the beach and then the next weekend we might rent a car and explore a bit more to brunch so the weather is nice again and we're walking which street is this? Fifth. Fifth. So we're walking on Fifth and uh, we're going to this place because it looks nice on pictures and they have good coffee and so we'll see you there. So this cassava place only had 
set menu and 30 minutes wait. So we're gonna try another one, it's called Rive Cafe. And it's in, we're still in Chinatown and the street we're walking on has this cool view. Let's go check this Reve one. Oh, they do? Yeah. Is it a self-service? For coffee. The food they'll bring. Got avocado toast and a side bowl. Sweet matcha. Americana. It was genuinely good, but yeah, it's not a cozy place to sit. It's just, I mean, people are working inside, but it's, it's mostly like a bar sitting. And avocado was good, but it was quite small. And then a side bowl. <laughs> was way too big, so having a sort of middle size for both would have been better. But yeah, it's definitely a nice spot for coffee. The coffee was good. And we're off to Marina Pier. Let's go. There's no Marina Pier. Marina okay. District. Correction. We're off to Marina District. Getting closer to the pier and to the Golden Gate Bridge, and there is like always the music like from everywhere. Yeah? If you're badass. <laughs> so we got all the way to, to this nice beach close to the Golden Gate and it's a really chill spot. There's like people with dogs, people swimming and it's just really nice to see them to relax and enjoy the sea views and the Golden Gate Bridge views.
It's Sunday. Yesterday we tried to make the most of the weekend and so we explored the marina district and went all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge. It turns out it's not as walkable as I wish it was. So it takes us about 40 minutes one way and then with jet lag it actually sounds very challenging to do it the same way back by foot. So we took an Uber yesterday and today we're gonna try and explore what the public transportation is. We're gonna kind of play it by ear and see if this can be an option. And other than that, car rental here is very challenging. It's not as easy as, as in Europe. Like there you have a lot of car sharing solutions and there is plenty of cars and at your doorstep. Apparently not think in San Francisco. So you need to plan in advance. It's usually not what we do, but I guess we will have to adjust. So this is the plan for the next weekend, and today we're just gonna do another long walk to the seaside and explore the Golden Gate Park. See you there. So explain again. Well, Tenderlings here, which is the not nice area generally, but we're heading the bus down in close to the mission. And then we're going to go into um, the Golden Gate Park and we'll just get off close to the botanical gardens. but it also felt kind of dirty so I guess this was one and only experience and we'll try to find bikes back and short that I guess Uber again but right now we're gonna explore the Golden Gate Park apparently we had a plan to go to Botanical Gardens and here it is Botanical Gardens Ooh, they're selling plants today. Oh, uh, should we buy some plants? I don't know, maybe. Can we sell them back when we're done? <laughs> we can just leave them for the next stop. No. Well, we have some fake plants. <laughs> we can get a small one, like a cactus. Do you want to go inside the botanical garden? Let's go. Well, here, let's show go? you what we have. There's botanical garden, Shakespeare garden. There's this museum, but you don't want to see that. There's a Japanese tea garden, which might well, actually be free. Let's go to tea garden. Does it have? Does it have tea in Japanese tea garden? <laughs> I don't think so. But we can go oh. there. Do we just... go across there? No. We, well, we just follow here, and we'll end up at the Japanese oh. tea garden. Hmm. So here is the Japanese tea garden that we're not going to visit because it seems closed. But we can visit from here. Well, there is a... Oh, look, that's a city. That's the museum. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow, there is a child dressed up. trying to find our way through it to get to the beach. And there's like some sort of stage behind me and you can hear the music. And right now we're walking along the Young Museum, which is a modern art museum and it has this cool texture as you can see. So it's about 30 minutes long, right? Ish. Ish. See you in 30 minutes on the beach. Hopefully. 
Can you ask the lady, baby? Bus number two. This is a shuttle bus. Apparently, it runs on the weekends and holidays, and it's free. And we're gonna yeah. go just a little bit closer to the beach, and then walk a mile, mile and a half, which is two kilometers, as opposed to four. But a mile away from the beach, yeah. <laughs> the shuttle bus didn't do that much to get us closer. And kept us alive. And it's somehow it got like way colder. Well, it's actually windier, not colder. So I had to do change of attire and look like a man in I think they might go through the snow before we get the sand. <laughs> it does. We're a little uh, dressed a little differently. <laughs> so I'm a little chillier. Kate's cold. K Kate's normal. <laughs> okay. K Kate is a regular human being. And you're like, a, how do you say this? People that are. Eskimos? Ah, Jesus. <laughs> no, the ones that are, have some injected parts, like. Uh, like, you know, when you have, when you have like, a, a robot part of you. I'm going to remember. Bionic? Yes! You are bionic <laughs> and I'm okay, normal. But yeah, this park is massive and like you have all the different activities. You have people playing badminton, badminton sad minton, and then there people pay, play like volleyball and all of the stuff. And then, so Golden Gate Park is actually larger than the Central Park in New York. And it's 1,000 acres here compared to 800. Okay, can you talk? Square kilometers. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hey Siri, how big is Golden Gate Park in square kilometers? Siri doesn't know. We're almost there. It's the last mile. Well, last section. This way. We found a car. So we have this rent a Tesla service in our building, and this is what we're doing right now. Good job. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's a way to take photos in a very specific way you have to be in a certain spot so I'm being moved around okay we're done taking photos of the damage and we're ready to start rental charging stop It's not hard. So we're driving to the Golden Gate Bridge to see the sunset and it's already starting. That's it for the first three days in San Francisco. We discovered some of the cool places, but obviously just scratched the surface. I would much appreciate your recommendations if you know the city. And if not, I hope this episode will inspire some of your trips. We have a lot of things planned for the next week. I will make sure to document them and share here. So I will see you in the next one.